welcome to 15 minutes with MarsMoonSpace.com. Today I have a pioneer with me and a good friend of mine that really helped me get started here. Please welcome to Will Farah from WhatsAppInTheSky.com. Welcome Will and thank you for, for joining me here. Oh, anytime, anytime. Let me, let me get the applause and everything in the background here. Yeah, <laughs> I can hear them. I can hear uh, them. <laughs> yeah, yes. I can hear them too. I'm glad to, glad to be on here with you, man. I've enjoyed all your guys' work, and especially, uh, like I said, I've plugged you guys. I love you guys' website, so, or the website <laughs> now and Facebook. So you guys got the website too and all. So the, excited the, to be on with you. A busy community we live in. <laughs> For we those really, of you really that do. don't know. It's really taken off, hasn't it? It's amazing. For, for those of you that don't know who Will Ferrer is, Will Ferrer is uh, the man behind what's up in the sky .com. He's the man behind almost a thousand videos. Is it somewhere like a thousand videos you, you've made or, or just nearby? <laughs> maybe, maybe about 600 or something. 600. We're getting, it, it, it's getting up there, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. First, I first started off, I never thought I'd, I'd make that many. I, I first started by, every time I go to YouTube, I'd go to like this really cool Mars one and it'd be like the the music would be playing in the background. Then they'd show this really neat thing and then I'd be like, is that real? And then I'd be like, all right, well, let's check the description. There'd never be a link. There'd never be anything. So I don't even know if it's real, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to make a YouTube channel and go through like JP Skipper stuff, uh, Richard Hoagland and all these things and uh, show people where to get it from and put the link in. And somehow it, it it's taken off. I mean, we're up to about, I think I've got maybe 16, let me see, I forget how many we've actually got. I think it's 16,000 subscribers now Something and like maybe, that, yes. yeah, pushing seven, seven million views. So we're getting up there That's and I, uh, <laughs> I still can't believe people sit and watch me talk about the pictures, but it's the, it's the pictures that, that, bring people in because it's interesting we, we, uh, mu we must say you have big success with your with your whatsapp and this guy that come that's for sure that's one thing for sure i remember one of the first time i met will was uh, when i found a little picture not a little uh, found <laughs> an image from the, the nasa uh, raw image archive and a little wheel and an axle and uh, I posted that on my Facebook group and uh, a guy called Will Farah wrote something like hey can I want to make a video about that and I was like hey cool and that's <laughs> where when I met Will you remember that video you made? Oh yeah I do yeah. too. Uh, and, and I remember uh, the day after or two days after you wrote something like oh 7,000, 17,000 <laughs> views that's awesome let's do this a little more often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it worked out. The cross promotion worked out really well. I mean, well, you guys are putting out that that actual anomaly, the wheel one's one of my favorite that we did. Um, it's right up there with the little lotus statue from mm -hmm. Rami and yeah. some of the some of the ones that came prior. Like they are just been there for years and years. But they, uh, I tell you what, that one was so neat, and I did that, and it worked out really well because I hadn't done much of that. The Facebook stuff was always kind of separate, so. That was a good one, and uh, I, I do believe that was the first time I think we had uh, actually talked, and I added you as a friend on there, and yeah. it's been fun ever since. I said, hey, you <laughs> guys had came, and uh, you guys started making videos. It's glad to say, I love when people come to the YouTube community because it was just me out there for a while, and I was having to bat all the, I was having to combat all the con like trolls that were coming in. Now we've got like <laughs> Mars anomalies, uh, Olympus Sky, some of my other buddies out there. You guys do videos, so now there's a wide variety of people doing it as well. So it's so, not so just all the <laughs> trolls are spread a little all around, not just at your side now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. I, I got some of them too. Believe me. <laughs> oh, I know. They're, uh, like I said, I, I don't give them much FaceTime anymore. I love the new ban from channel. Uh, I just hit ban from channel, goodbye. I, I stopped arguing and stopped uh, trying yeah, to. Yeah, exactly the same here. Yeah, you really can. It's it's what they want you to do, and then it ends up taking your time from researching more stuff, or you didn't work. I'm sure you're just as busy. I, I got a full time job, and I'm an IT director for a health company, and I work on computers, networks, websites. Uh, and I've been doing it probably for 15 years now, working on computers. So and I'm about to turn 35. And uh, I really lucked out. So I just got into computers, and uh, right when NASA started putting stuff out, you know, on the computers, they used to be on books. Mm. I mean, we used to look through the books. Richard Hoagland <laughs> used to come out with a book, you know, and be like, here's the picture right here. And uh, you know, here's the anomaly. Now it's you know, right here for us. It's so easy. I mean, there's people yes, who. It is. It's awesome. 
It's I weird. watch your group. And there's people on your group who just, you know, they I guess they get up, they get off work, they take a look, and then they find these amazing anomalies. Anybody can do it. Mm. And that's what I always try and tell people. Mm. It's like anybody can find these. Mm. It's just a matter of hopping on that NASA website and looking or using the apps on your phone. They, they've really worked out pretty good. Yes. It'd be neat to yes. one day make an app between all of us where we could put all of our anomalies on an app one day. So we'll have to do that sometime. We'll all have to collaborate <laughs> on that. You yeah. got something to work on, Will? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Another another project for us all. You know? <laughs> another one. Well, I know you're into uh, a lot of stuff. You're into Mars, Moon. You're into space. You're into UFOs. What are your favorite topics? Uh, it really, right now, it's got to be Mars, just because of the pictures coming back. But UFOs and aliens and that stuff have always intrigued me since a very young child. Mm. Um, I lived in an area of Maryland. We're right up where Delaware, Pennsylvania, and Maryland, and we moved there from D.C. area, and uh, supposedly we were in an alley where UFOs used to come down, and I tell you, it used to scare me as a child. And uh, you see them, you seen them often as a child. We we would see, we never, I mean, we wouldn't see like the actual crafts, but you'd see lights in the sky, and you know, back then when you were younger, we did a whole lot of sitting on, you know, it was playing Nintendo with the old Nintendo controllers or, you know, the real, and the Ataris and stuff like that before this computer stuff came out. Or we'd be <laughs> hanging on the roof looking up at the sky. And uh, I'm lucky that I was at least part of that last generation that probably did that because mm. a lot of these young kids don't go out and sky gaze anymore or no, even look no, up. No, no, no. They don't notice anything going on, no, you know. It, so true, it, so true. But, uh, yeah, the UFOs have always, they said they've always just, in, and that old Unsolved Mysteries, it used to play here in America. I don't know if you've ever seen it. it yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. The, seen it. the guy with the Robert Stack, I think it was, with the voice. He had this real voice, and he would, you know, kind of talk about the, you know, the, the, um, the Germany incident where I think it was Randall Shine or something. He'd talk about that. He'd talk about Roswell. And I was really young. I was probably 10, 11, 12, 13, picking this stuff up. So that's mm. always been interesting to me. Um, and then, of course, lately we've got all the, the ancient alien stuff here, and, and the Earth has intrigued me, too. Antarctica, uh, things things like the pyramids and how they're everywhere, and, um, you know, are we really being told the truth? You know, so it, it goes <laughs> my, my uh, you know, human history and that stuff, so really interested in that as well. So I've got mm. a full... You know, not more than just the stuff what's up on Mars, but I think it kind of all ties together somehow. I haven't gotten there yet where I can yeah. actually think, but uh, <laughs> I do believe it will tie. One day in my life, I'll tie it all together and actually have something more than just pictures to show people. So I, I try and try and stay yeah. away from what it is and where it is. I just I just name it something, whatever it looks mm -hmm. like. I, mm -hmm. If you watch my videos, it says. I see what I see, you see what you see, and really, when we're looking at this thing. Uh, We really don't know what this stuff is, if it's from another city. We don't know if they look like us, if they look like, you know, what they look like or what their technology was. We're just seeing stuff that shouldn't be seen up there on Mars. So that's why Mars is probably my favorite right now, because okay. we've got so much, you okay. know. Okay. We also talked about your, your favorite, uh, you, you said you... Uh Wheel on the the wheel on the Excel video was one of your favorite because I have a question here saying what's your favorite YouTube videos? You have more That's than. I, I that the one that uh, the ones that I've done you know, see I don't even really watch the ones I do I have to say it's so funny I, I forget that I've made them but there's a couple really good ones out there that I've seen. Um, That, that deal with it. Uh, you guys have put one out, the Mars 2015 and 2014. I think that was one of yours or it might have been one of Brian's. Yeah, I really Brian, enjoyed that. Yes. Um, he put some out there, Brian. Uh, I always forget his last I'm forgetting his last name. Tom. Hopkins. Hopkins. Yeah, Hopkins. That's <laughs> it. I always forget everybody's names sometimes. There's so many people doing them. Um, that and He's then. He's doing a great job. He's doing a great yeah, job. He, there's, there's so many people that just. Just like I said, it's such a good community. That and uh, for mine, I enjoyed. Like I said, the ones that I really enjoyed were the wheel one, the lotus statue one that look, looks like a guy sitting in the lotus statue. And mm -hmm. I've gotten a lot of flack over that one. People say, "Oh, that's so far in the background that it's pixelization. It's not really there. It's just." But I, I just let I just let it go. I say, "I see what I see. You see what you see." Yeah. Um, yeah. Some of the latest ones from uh, the New Souls, those, those videos that have been coming out, they're uh, amazing. The Nine series, like Neville just did, I think, another uh, uh, another Gigapan somewhere out there that I had run across. And I was like, geez, this stuff is just coming. The further, closer we get to the mountain, uh, the better the stuff's getting. 
Yeah, with Neville curiosity is, uh, forever. Neville is awesome. He's uh, it's amazing. He's a he's a machine. I think he's an alien. Yeah, he might be. He might be. He might be, he might be a cyborg or Sorry, something. Sorry, Neil. If that was very positive, man. Uh, yeah. uh, damn it, he's doing a good, great job. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I love his geeky pants. I really love them. And I think he's another guy that works full time. The people that do this, we're not like. I've noticed that there's two groups of people that do this. There's the crowd that work full time jobs, like you know us that do it, mm. and uh, you know even if they're not working, they're doing other stuff. Then there's the people who write books, and they're on coast to coast AM, and mm. we don't even get looked at for those things. It's amazing. One day, one of us will get on that show, hopefully. But it seems like the only people there have books out. They've uh, they're making money off of it. I try to, and and we all have ads and stuff on our YouTubes, but none of us are getting rich off of our Mars videos and our <laughs> stuff. Let me tell you what, none of us are. We're not, you know, Jenna Marbles or, you know, uh, PewDiePie out there on YouTube that make millions of dollars. We barely make enough to pay hosting fees usually. So, I, I can tell you what, from my own side, uh, the money I, I uh, earn from YouTube is uh, less than it cost me to buy the domain and keep it updated and you know stuff like that so it's uh, we, we don't earn anything we are putting money into this some of us are and, and some of those uh, that doesn't have a uh, home sites uh, themselves are, are not making money up it just doing for, 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 for doing this because they can you know yeah that's what makes me love this group better than the people out on coast to coast like Richard Hoagland those guys did come before us but they've been spewing the same stuff over and over when we have all this new evidence and all this stuff mm. that needs to be gone through in the mainstream um, hopefully it'll, it'll it's starting to you know it's slowly starting to get out there you know especially with Facebook and uh, Pinterest and there's so many places that I'm trying to like you guys have Facebook covered that's why I think we just made a what's up in the sky dot com um, Facebook page the other day I and I never you know I never <laughs> wanted to even venture into it because I had one for my old I used to do something called energy field network which was paranormal stuff like mm. ghosts UFOs this yeah. type of things but more the whole overall, not just space stuff, and uh, I kind of carry that over, but, well, I'm going to add that to it, um, Twitter and stuff, I don't know if you guys have gotten into that, but it's bringing the literally more and more people to the plate that can see this, and, like, because if you watch the news, they're still talking about briny water on Mars, when I mean, we've seen water in pictures, we've seen it <laughs> dripping... Speaking of videos, one of my favorite videos is the one that if you if you search online, um, NASA lies about water on Mars. I mean, they've got the water dripping out of the rocks, and you can see it in the sand mm -hmm. now it comes down, and they fly right by it. They don't take they don't take a sample. They don't shoot it with the laser. They and it's, it's amazing what they don't do. Oh, they actually do it, but don't tell us. Or yeah, exactly, yeah, and yeah. and we never see uh, the after pictures. I we think just it's see the last the pictures. Yeah, they do it, but they don't tell us because that would be the right possibility for us, us for having live on Mars. And I never and think MNASA is gonna go out and say we have life on Mars. Do you believe there is life on Mars? Are actually living beings on Mars right now? I I don't know. I, I don't know. People come and claim so much on my channel that there are little beings, that are big beings, that there's reptilians there. All I see in the pictures, I tend – and also we're looking through the, you know, the haze that NASA puts on it, the filters they use, the high-pass filters, the low-pass filters. I don't know. I, I, it's one of those things that I'm not going to – I'm not going to put myself in a box and say there is or there isn't. Um, I love to say there is and that I've seen things. I could definitely tell you something was there at one time walking mm -hmm. around. The, you yeah. know, Now, there are some videos where, uh, you know, where things are moving, you know, which could could say, okay, well, like, you know, the one, there's there's one from the Opportunity, or, no, the Spirit Rover that showed the rock that was, uh, you know, kind of, it moves in different places throughout, you know, as the rover's coming along. Mm. A lot of people say were saying it was, you know, how the rover was looking at the rock. But yeah. I've looked at that thing a hundred times, and it looks like that rock looked like an animal that was black, and it had a beak, and it was moving different places, and it showed up another day somewhere else. It disappeared. Now, that was either a set somewhere at NASA, or there was a, a problem with it, you know what I mean? Or that thing was walking around on Mars. So, you know, I can't pin it down, and I... And I but I, I, I have a theory I would like to discuss with you right here, right now. Uh, and, and it goes on, uh, we see what the rower shows us, and what the rower shows us is, um, what the rower are showing us is less than 1% of the surface. 
Do you think that the rowers were placed in those specific areas? And those areas are the so-called dead areas. Yeah. So I, I we think have life and we have existence of life all the way around on, on Mars, but just not in the area where the rowers are. And the they could be put there on purpose by NASA. I thought about that as well, um, especially because if you look at Earth, I mean, we've got deserts that we could mm. send rovers to and make exactly. it look like there was nothing on Earth, you know, just exactly. lifeless old... And claim the whole Earth is like this because this is what we see exactly exactly we've seen pictures from especially from the moc mission that showed uh you know all sorts of what look like lakes i've got videos lakes on mars trees on mars and we never those are totally different areas yeah, image yeah. than where the rovers are the three main rovers we've sent um i don't think we'll send much to sidonia again because that first viking rover or whatever that landed there the uh the pictures were pretty amazing for the technology that came out at the time um but i think down that area there probably were more you know vegetation some of those mm -hmm. images looks like they have vegetation actually in the images yes. from the rover yes. um but i think you're absolutely you might be on something there because like i said if we were say we were on mars thinking about coming to earth and we wanted to tell the people of mars that that you know earth was a dead barren planet I'd send something to, you know, Antarctica or I'd send something to the dry, you Sahara, know, the dry valleys yes, down yeah, there, Sahara. Yeah. yeah, it'd be easy to do. So, you know, it's one of those things where you got to even question. So many people come now. The thing is that NASA is not even on Mars. I get that comment every day that, yeah, from somebody yeah, the saying. Same here, the same here. Yeah, you're you're a fool because you think that there's something yeah, on yeah, Mars. Yeah. We can't leave Earth atmosphere. And one, you know what? One thing is for sure is anybody think they have the answer, they are the last person I'm going to listen to. <laughs> exactly. Because and that's no one has the about. answer. No one. No. Exactly. And unless it was a total conspiracy where every every country was in it, everybody who had a telescope was in it, you know, I, I don't know the answer to it, but I, I'm highly likely that those rovers are sitting on Mars. I believe they are. Of course um, they are. I, I think so. So I, I think that would have been pretty hard to prove. Now it was a f it was amazing feat to get them there. And as much as I complain mm -hmm. about the quality of the images sometimes that come back, because I feel that they're being manipulated. Because if you've watched uh, a lot of my videos, are just about it being manipulated. Um, you know, pictures with the the square marks that don't look like anything I've seen yeah, from pictures yeah. here on Earth. Um, the the sand that looks like it's just painted yeah, on with. Yeah, Rory. Rosberry came with something also, and I found something uh, also with uh, some sand dunes that has straight edges and 90 degree edges of sand dunes. <laughs> come on, there's a, come on, come <laughs> on. <laughs> it makes you wonder if there's a computer doing it or if it's a person doing it. Sometimes I wonder if it's a computer on the rover that does it sometimes, mm. or if there's a computer that they run these things through. But I noticed one thing, if you look at the thumbnails, and then what actually comes out on the images, there's a lot of thumbnails that I would love to see the full images of. On the, If you go back to some of the first images, even coming back from Curiosity, they have not released every single We're talking about raw image. images from, from this and now, yes. Yeah, yeah the, th the thumbnails are real small. They've got, some of them are so interesting looking, but then you don't, they never show up as, you know, no. images we can actually no take a look at. No, no. Yeah, those are the ones that really say, what are on those? If we we can see some of the stuff we've seen, and like I said, we don't have anything to, to bring up on the screen, but I think a lot of people probably watching this have, have, have been on our channels and have been on the websites and been on Facebook pages. They know exactly the anomalies we're talking about. Hmm. What gets through... Um, if I was somebody at NASA, I would surely fire some people. <laughs> you know, either, they're either letting it through on purpose, yeah. or that, that was you know, also one of my questions. Do you think they could be doing that on purpose? You know, some of the the the, the pictures where it's so clear that there is some kind of manipulation and blurring out. Very well, could be preparing us for mm. disclosure. Could be preparing us. Uh, could be playing us. You never know. Yeah, it's one of those things where. Like you said earlier, if, if somebody thinks they have the answer, those are usually the people not to listen to. You know, if, if you've got everything figured out in this universe, in this time, this period, you're not the person I'm going to be listening to. I, I like to get more people who are, just have ideas about it and try and work it out myself because mm. it, uh, that, it's a very good – very disinformation. You know, it could just be them doing it on purpose to keep more uh, people interested in the space program. But the, they – 
you would think that they would actually acknowledge it more if that was the case. Like we don't. I, I've emailed, I've sent mail, I've gone down to NASA. We've got a um, right. I live right outside Wallops now, where uh, there was that crash of that rocket not too long ago. Wallops, where one was taken off, it, it blew up on takeoff. Um, I've gone down there and talked to people. You know, that's not where JPL. I'm nowhere near JPL. But uh, nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to answer the, you know, what it is. It, it's just lights and shadow or we don't comment. And that might be part of their plan. Why you don't comment? You know, kind mm. of the mysterious, it, you know, distant, mysterious person. But, who, you know, who really knows? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. They get it's fired it. if they comment. Yeah, exactly. And that's another yeah. thing. And, and yeah. who wants to lose a job nowadays? Yeah. <laughs> because some here. guys that don't know asking questions, you know. Yeah. 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 Some guy, yeah. <laughs> they end up anywhere now. You know, somebody asks you questions, you never know. You end up on the internet. It's a whole different world we live in. You got to be real careful, especially if you're so, the so, guy. So, so listen up, uh, to all of you that's uh, working for NASA. If any of you want to be a whistleblower, then come on to our groups and we, we will worship you. That's for sure. Yeah, we, we will, will keep we, we will keep the quiet. message and bring it on. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll keep it quiet. We will not tell your name. You know what I mean. But we will sell yeah, your story. Course, so you, you come on down. You can contact yeah. any admin if, if you want to on, on the MarsMoonSpace dot com or to Will Farrell, Farrell yeah. on WhatsApp in the Sky dot com. So <laughs> it's it's amazing some of the stories that I get and some of the emails I've get. It's gotten to be. I get a lot of emails each day because I've offered my email address up in all 600 videos. It's one thing I've done is given my anybody in the public who wants access to me, I've totally given it. I made my Facebook page open. I say, might as well do it. If you're going to do it, do it right. So anybody, I get emails about all sorts of things. And uh, the pictures come in. I probably get 30 pictures a day emailed to me from various people that are, you know, researchers just like you and I mm. to where I can't even look at it sometimes. So that's where I'm, I'm hoping the forum at my website, what's up in the sky.com, the forum, I'm telling people to go put the stuff in there and then, you know, other people are, you know, just like us are actually mm -hmm. going and looking at it. So hopefully that'll do it. But uh, is there anybody send me anything? If you've got something UFO footage, I do a couple of those. Where I've got done a couple of UFO ones, but I'll only do a UFO one if I know somebody, you know, it's one of my yeah. friends or you know, somebody I've heard of or I've had contact with just because there's so much CGI out there exactly. now, you know. Computer graphic stuff that mm. anybody can make a UFO. It's so <laughs> it's so hard to bring out uh, something about UFO nowadays because you, you can't you can't find the one percent that's real between between all the CGI's. You know, everything. You, every time you see something, you believe, wow, this is real, and then it takes two or three days and it's been debunked as, or someone came forward and said, yeah, we are students on a film school, it, we made it. Uh, you know, so. But I have exactly. a, I have a favorite one, and that was the, the I also made that uh, as a, a post or what you call it an article on your site what's up in the sky dot com uh, with the UFO the Bremen incident from Germany uh, February last year I think January last year it was last year sometimes <laughs> in, I, in the beginning I remember of the, year. the article and well there was a lot of videos on that and they were from different people from different different angles and there was an I believed I put uh, an interview with a police officer into that article also, as I, if I remember correct. Uh, I might be wrong, sorry if I am, but I believe I put that one also. On I think you did add that. Yeah, in, yeah, uh, yeah. And, and, and that was one of the few where, where, where I really can say this one is for real. I, I believe 100% in this. All the rest is what you call, you can say, take a look at this, guys. What do you think this is? But you cannot go out and say this is real because you cannot know unless you know the person you get it from. So it's it's a it's a tough job about UFOs and yes, I, I know <laughs> about that. And th and that's why that's why a lot of the NASA stuff. It's like we have a link to NASA. The government's giving it to us, which is could just could be as bad just as some shady person out on the street handing you something. But at least we've got somewhere to go back to and say, all right, well here's where it originated from. I know it originated from there. You can go get it yourself and look. Um, and the people who want to debate whether it's on Mars or not, they can debate that till they're blue in the face. I'm not going to stop looking at the pictures. They fascinate me. It's a hobby. I'd be mm. doing this either way, whether I had the website or not. So it just so happens I know how to make websites and I know how to, you know, network with friends. So we, it's 
been helping trying to put this whole thing together and it seemed to work it's starting to work we got a lot of people coming involved i mean you guys have i'm an admin on uh the emi and the mars moon space uh, photo zoom club and i see people joining all the time on there every once in a while mm. i hit accept i try not to i don't want to let anybody in that's you know a troll or something yeah, so i, I try know. to be careful with it but Got the amount of people joining five days old you know uh, <laughs> with, it, it's with, with 200 groups and <laughs> it's it's a fascinating world man and, and information moves like this it's mm. amazing how fast stuff can go viral it's a, any at any given time any of our stuff and when i when i see anybody in our group stuff go viral i'm like that's that's a win for everybody in there you know yes, that's uh, i love to see it so i've only had two things go viral the helmet and the uh, coffin and i would have thought that never would have thought those two would have been the ones that went viral where if you type it in you'll actually see it and you know on legitimate sounding places but it, it's been pretty cool i uh, mm. i must say i mean i'm impressed with everybody who's joined and some people we said there's always some infighting but that's good sometimes sometimes it's good to keep each other in check you know, because <laughs> a lot of these images are blurry, you know, and we all kind of yeah, got have yeah. our own realities, I think. Yeah. And uh, I've, I've enjoyed it. So it, it's been fun, man. And uh, I definitely appreciate you having me on as I've been watching all your interviews with everybody. And it's been oh, fun. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're about to run out of time here. Um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what are you working on now as the last little uh, thing? What are we going to see from you next? I'm going to keep working on putting out the forums next video you're going to see is the uh the 9 957 the one that rammy put out the or that looks like the uh the rabbit thing and uh, that whole image and that whole that whole place has that like if you look at the whole uh panoramic of that nine there's a lot of good stuff on there mm. so i'm gonna be working on that i got some new moon stuff coming out and uh some new space news i love to do the space news keep i got a couple people to watch that on my channel most you know, most people are more into the anomalies and stuff, but uh, I like to do a little space news every once in a while just to keep everybody yeah, up cool. to date. Yeah. So yeah. But that's, that's what so, you'll be looking to check out the okay. uh, forums at whatsupinthesky.com. And, you know, We're thank you very we, much. we are looking forward for that. And if anybody of you out there have a question to Will, you can go into Mars Moon Space Photo Zoom Club, or you can go into uh, exclusive Mars Images and uh, tag Will there and ask him a question if you want to. <laughs> if you have something to no. to ask Will about, so Will, thanks a million times for for joining us here. That was uh, awesome to uh, meet you live, not just yeah. the little corner top right in the screen. <laughs> <laughs> the little guy at the top right of the screen. That's yeah. what said. So, well, I appreciate it, buddy. You have a good one. Yeah, and thank you everybody for for watching this. And uh, until we see you next time, take care. Bye. Peace.